Hey there, Aquarius, and welcome back to Unicorn Tarot for your monthly reading. This is going to be a reading for the month of October, and we're going to take a look at your past, present, and near future energies. Also, Aquarius, if this reading resonates and you want even more free readings, make sure to subscribe to my email list. I send out free extended readings every Monday only to my email list subscribers. You cannot get these readings anywhere else. Okay. Hmm. You're going to have an interesting month. Okay. The overall energy for you this month is the Ten of Cups. So there is a lot of happiness showing up. Bottom of the deck, you get the Six of Wands. You're feeling, feeling very, very successful, very positive, very, very happy this month. Um, there are some things showing up for you in the background, specifically relating to love, relationships. It could be a specific relationships or just love in general. We'll see in a minute. Um, but that's kind of like the back end. The main energies this month for you are very, very, very positive. So... You can be dealing with another person. They can be any sign. I'm literally seeing all the signs here. In the recent past, you get the Five of Wands, the Knight of Wands, and the Nine of Swords. So you're very conflicted about somebody who's been really very inconsistent in your life. They've been in and out, hot and cold. Sometimes they're in, sometimes they're out. Sometimes you feel very, very pulled towards them. Sometimes you're like, oh my gosh, why are you like this? They do also cause you a lot of stress. So I do see that whoever this person is, their inconsistency was stressing you out I mean I'm not going to sugarcoat it like you can see you're thinking about it you're up at night you're wondering what they're thinking where they're at what they want what things are going to how they're going to go how things are happening so there's definitely an energy of this person is not bringing peace and quiet to your life <laughs> at least not with their inconsistent behavior in the recent past in the current situation you get the ten of swords the four of wands and the grimalkin you're making a choice to end something here a bond um, a very close connection that you have with this person. I do feel like it's the person from the past, the inconsistent one. You're choosing to put an end to it and really just be like, this no longer serves me. I'm releasing it, like really, really releasing it. Do you still feel attached to this person? Yes. Do you still feel connected to them? Yes. But you're showing me I'm being true to myself. I'm aligning with my higher self and what really sits well with me without fears, without insecurity, without I'm not lovable, without any of that, right? genuinely what aligns for you and I love that because this is not an easy decision in the near future you get the two of cups page of wands king of wands this person's not going anywhere unfortunately Aquarius I don't know if you think by ending it you got rid of them and they're just completely going to disappear and you're never going to hear from them again that's not the case they're coming back with a vengeance and they're actually kind of turning it up some of you uh, may be dealing with a fire sign Leo Sagittarius or Aries they're really turning up the charm, turning up the passion, and they're coming in with like love, genuine love. So I want to see if this is commitment that they're coming in with or if they're just coming in and really laying it on thick. But there's not a lot underneath the surface, right? Because the page to the king, this is like they're, they're jumping. They're jumping from they're not going like, you know, I like you. I kind of like you. They're going page to king. These are intense energies, but the wands sweet suit, sweet, oh my gosh, whatever, the wands suit is not the most stable, okay? Um, so we'll see. We'll see what's going on with them in the near future. But let's start off and clarify. Start off with the Ten of Cups, which is, oh, the main energy for your reading. Ten of Cups is clarified by the Ten of Swords, everything is fine, the Six of Wands, which you got at the bottom of the deck here, and the Star, which is you. You are really choosing to end something here. Um, you're showing me I've successfully ended it. I feel very, very positive about choosing to end this. There's no regret, remorse, anything like that. Because again, you're showing me this feels very, very aligned for me. Does it still hurt? Yes, it still sucks. But you're very good at putting on a brave face. And that's what I see you doing here, Aquarius, if I'm being honest. The Ten of Swords, everything is fine card. It, oop, it looks like the Ten of Swords card, right? But... The bottom of the deck, or sorry, at the bottom you see it says everything is fine. So you're sitting here getting stabbed with five swords and you're like, no, I'm fine. I'm fine. Everything's fine. No problem. And it's like, come on. Come on. Right? But overall, I will say it does make you very, very happy to choose yourself and do what aligns for you by ending this. So good for you for listening to your higher self. Let's take a look at the recent past. I want to see what the five of wands is all about. Five of Wands is clarified by the Chariot, the Three of Wands, and the Moon. 
Oh, bottom of the deck, you get the four of cups. Yeah, you're very conflicted about which direction to move in when it comes to this person. You're showing me like I know that whatever energy we're in or whatever energy you were in in the, in the recent past, it didn't jive well with you. You didn't really like it. It didn't align for you. You're showing me I don't want to be in this energy anymore. I want to move forward, right? Left, right, forward. I just don't know which direction to move in. And I'm like, OK, but why? There are just so many unknowns when it comes to this person. There's so many different variables where you're like, I don't know. I don't I don't know where they're at. I don't know what they're thinking. I don't know what they're feeling. Um, so it really does bum you out. But beyond that, it also on some level, at least in the recent past, kept you stuck to some degree. Let's take a look at the Knight of Wands in the recent past. Also, if this is res resonating, I don't know why I can't talk today. If this is resonating, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. It really helps me out. Knight of Wands is clarified by the strength, the Nine of Cups, and the Devil. The inconsistency with this person is very difficult for you. It doesn't jive with you. You don't really like it. So you're showing me this hot and cold pattern that they have going on. You don't really like that. However, there are other times when... so. When they pull back, that's difficult for you. But when they're in, when they're there with you, when they're affectionate, when they're expressing their feelings, you're like, this makes me feel amazing. Them offering you love, them expressing their emotions to you really does give you a lot of emotional fulfillment and emotional stability. And you're almost kind of caught in this dynamic where you want to detach but you're having a hard time detaching because it's literally like you know, you're getting whiplash. Sometimes it's good, but then when this person pulls back and they become cold, or detached, you're yearning for that time when they're good again, right? When things are good between the two of you and they're expressive and all of that. And then they come back in and they express these feelings and they literally have this like invisible hold on you where you're almost like a little bit addicted to this push-pull energy because you're constantly yearning for those positive times and those emotionally fulfilling times. Let's take a look at the nine of swords in the recent past. The Nine of Swords, wow, these are all very, very intense energies. Nine of Swords is clarified by the world, the Empress, and the death. This anxiety, right, this push-pull, hot-cold, you don't like it at all, and you're showing me, I'm putting an end to this. I know that this person is very significant to me. I know that this person means a lot to me. I know they're very important to me. Like, they are literally the person for you as far as you're concerned, and you're showing me, despite all this, they're causing me more pain and more overthinking than they're worth. And so in the recent past, you've already made the decision to end this because it really just doesn't align for you. It doesn't serve you. It doesn't jive with you. I don't see you taking action until the current situation, which we'll get to in a second. But you've already kind of come to this decision in the recent past. You've come to this realization in the recent past. Let's take a look at the Ten of Swords in the current situation. Ten of Swords is clarified by the Tower, the Five of Wands, which you got in the same row in the recent past, and the Ten of Cups, which is the main energy for your reading. It becomes too difficult for you to keep, um, keep waiting on this person. Remember in the recent past, you had the Five of Wands tied up to them, kind of keeping you stuck with them not letting you know, like, okay, we're together, we're not together, I want this, I don't want this. You're showing me that just doesn't sit well with me. And so it's becoming difficult, more and more and more difficult for me to keep resisting this urge of I need to end this, I need to end this, I need to end this. And then at some point in the current situation, you're like, I'm done. I'm choosing to end this. Like I can no longer keep holding on to this. This doesn't serve me. It doesn't align with me. The second you end things with this person, you are filled with the sense of happiness and relief. So those are two very interesting feelings, which is letting me know that this decision to end things, although it does hurt, it does still suck. Don't get me wrong. It's not like you're like, oh, yay, I feel no pain. It does align with you. It does feel aligned for you. You're not doing this from a place of fear. You're doing this from a place of this really feels right to me, which honestly, kudos. Let's take a look at the four of wands in the current situation. Four of Wands is clarified by the Three of Swords, Page of Cups, Queen of Wands. Yeah. Again, you made the right decision for you. It does still hurt, though. You are still very drawn to this person. You're still very connected to this person. And you're showing me I'm heartbroken. Like, it hurts, you know? Like, I don't, I didn't want to end things with them. There is also a little bit of doubt showing up here for you where it's like, mm, well, if it hurts, did I actually make the right decision? Maybe I made a mistake. I don't see you backtracking. But I don't think you expected it to affect you as much as it did. 
again, I see emotional pain, but I also see relief, happiness coming along with this decision. So keep in mind that this heartbreak is totally normal because, again, you are still connected to this person. Just because you end things and you say things are done here in the 3D world doesn't mean they're actually done right away energetically. Let's look at the Grimalkin, which is a card that you can only find in this deck. It's unique to this deck. The Grimalkin is clarified by the full Knight of Cups, Six of Swords. Beautiful. What feels aligned for you now in the current situation is not to go back to this person that you ended things with. No, you're showing me I want to wipe the slate completely clean. I want to start over. I want to have a brand new beginning when it comes to love. I've walked away from this not just to come back full circle, and come back to this person. I've walked away from this because I want to have a new beginning in love. I want somebody to come in and choose me and none of this inconsistent BS, none of this hot and cold. Like I want them to make it clear that I'm the person that they want, that I'm the person that they want to be with and that they are willing to do what I need them to do to be in a connection with me. I'm moving away from this not so great energy to much, much, much more positive energy here. And that is what really feels aligned for you, Aquarius. That's really what sits well with you. That's really what aligns with your higher self. And you're showing me, I know I'm not there yet, right? Obviously, I just got out of a connection, but this is the direction that I'm moving in. You are crystal clear on what you're looking for moving forward. Beautiful, Aquarius. Okay, let's take a look at the near future because I have a feeling it's going to be very, very positive. We will start off by clarifying the Two of Cups. Two of Cups is clarified by the Six of Cups, Four of Cups, and the Four of Swords. So remember how I said just because you end things with them, the, the, the energy doesn't just disconnect right away? That's happening here in the near future. You are thinking back to the positive times that you had with this person, those good emotions, those good feelings, the beautiful memories, right? And that's totally normal. And you're showing me on the one hand, it shows me how much I have to heal, right? Because your connection with this person was not what you were looking for when it comes to love. And you're showing me on the one hand, there's so much that I need to heal that I recognize when it comes to love and emotions that I need to heal internally. But it also does kind of disappoint you because you're like, we did have such good times. Why did it have to end like this? So there is this kind of like little dash, little sprinkle of disappointment of you kind of feeling bummed out. But also it's very, very healing for you to realize, you know what, this is not what I wanted and I don't want to settle for this anymore. You're very empowered this month, Aquarius. Very, very, very empowered. I wonder if you have Scorpio in your chart. Let's take a look at the Page of Wands in the near future. Wow. Page of Wands is clarified by the Temperance, the Ace of Swords, and the Queen of Pentacles. You're taking all this energy and really focusing it on yourself, on your needs, your desires, your stability. And you're showing me, I know that it's going to take a while for me to completely get over this and completely find a new connection that I am interested in, but this is what I want. And I, I'm willing to do that. I'm willing to wait. I'm willing to go through the process. And what's beautiful is you're also approaching this with curiosity. You're not just like, oh my gosh, how long is this going to take? This is going to take forever. Ever. No, you're approaching this with excitement and curiosity and like, oh, I wonder what the universe has next. I wonder what's what's in store for me, right? You're so focused on yourself in a very, very positive way. And you get the emperor at the bottom of the deck, which is really feeling grounded and balanced and empowered and in control. Very, very, very positive energies that you're approaching this whole transformational process with, Aquarius. Let's take a look at the king of wands in the near future. King of Wands is clarified by the Ten of Pentacles, the Queen of Cups, and the Queen of Swords. Bottom of the deck, you get the Four of Wands. Beautiful. So in the near future, you're showing me I want two things. One is I want consistency and stability. I want a relationship that's going to be long, long term, that's going to go the distance, not something casual, not something temporary, not something where this person is like in and out, hot and cold, none of this nonsense. So that's the first thing I want. The second thing is I want a connection where what I give emotionally, I receive emotionally, where I know that this person loves me just as much as I love them, that I'm not sitting here pining for someone who's kind of breadcrumbing me or giving me less than what I I'm giving and you're showing me I know that I deserve this and if I don't get this off with their head literally you see her sword 
off with their head. You are not even going to entertain this. You are not even playing games. You're like, I'm confident enough that this is what I want. This is what I deserve. Either you show up and you give me what I want and you show up in a connection the way I need you to, or I will literally not even entertain you. Done deal. Very, very, very empowering energies this month, Aquarius. I love it for you. Let's see. Oh, what the universe wants you to keep in mind this month, Aquarius. You get the Nine of Cups, the Seven of Swords, and the Queen of Swords. You just got the Queen of Swords. You know what you want. In the bottom of the deck, you get the Ten of Pentacles, which you got here. You know you want a long-term relationship. You know you want commitment. You know you want stability. That's what gives you emotional fulfillment. That's really what lights you up inside emotionally. However, there is a part of you, and this is more so a fear-based response, where you don't fully trust that you're going to get it. You're showing me like I'm hoping, I know that this is what I want, but there's this little voice inside of you which is kind of saying, well, <laughs> just because you want it doesn't mean you're going to get it. Who says you're worthy? Like, why would you get this? Like, what makes you so special that you deserve this, you know? Um, that's just fear, Aquarius, because all the energies are showing me like you've already taken the difficult action of getting rid of somebody and something that doesn't align for you. Why would you settle for anything less? But Aquarius, that is what I have for you. I hope this reading helped. If it did, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you here on the next one.